students, my name is Amber and we're going to talk about electrical safety today and how to be safe around electricity. In order to do that, let's take a little trip to a town called Hazard Hamlet. Now I know you guys are way smarter than a lot of the hazardous humans that live in this town. For example, would you ever fly a kite around power lines? Of course not. We've spent time talking about what conductors and insulators are. And if you remember, conductors are like freeways for electrons. They love to travel quickly and do a job for us. But did you know that electrons are a little bit lazy? So if we provide an off-ramp from that freeway for those electrons to go to ground, they're gonna take it. So we know too that water is a conductor and that person is made up primarily of water. So do you think that she's gonna provide an off-ramp for those electrons to go to ground? Let's find out. Oh no, my poor hazard human. Instead, she allowed those electrons to travel through her and it changed her life forever. Let's also talk about substations. Do you have a substation in your neighborhood or have you seen anything like this in your neighborhood where there's high fences, maybe barbed wire, and there's warning stickers? What would you do if your ball or your drone went inside there? Would you be a hazard human and climb the fence and go get your toy? Probably not. You can call Clark Public Utilities and we'll come out and get it for you. We won't charge you. We won't even tell your parents. But this hazard human, they climbed the fence. They went inside to get their ball. And what do you think happened to them? Sure enough, it changed their life forever.